it's Susan with the Noonan Carnegie Library and I'm here today with another book review for you. Today we're going to be talking about Sweet Bitter by Stephanie Dandler. And this book is a coming of age story about a girl, Tess. She's 22 years old and she moves to New York City and she gets this tiny apartment and she finds a job at a restaurant. So this book is about the year in her life of working at this fancy restaurant in New York City. Now, this book really opened my eyes to the restaurant world. I've never, you know, worked as a waitress or in a restaurant, and it seems like it's a really cutthroat world. Tess is a little naive. She comes from a small town, so it's a lot of culture shock for her to be in New York City. She really has to navigate a new world that's very unfamiliar to her. She pays a lot of money for a very tiny room in an apartment. She's working at the restaurant as a back waiter, which is not quite as great as a waitress. So she learns all sorts of stuff while she works in this restaurant. She starts um, getting taught things like what different wines taste like. They give her a real education on oysters, champagne, all that, where she has to actually know what all of these foods do and how they taste because she has a very um, unrefined palate coming just from her small town. So she learns all this new stuff and it, it feels like really exciting and really heady. And the head waitress, Simone, she becomes friends with and she really teaches her a lot of this stuff, not knowing that Simone's intentions may not be always good with her. She also meets a very handsome and mysterious bartender, Jake, and he's not really one of the greatest guys, but she really thinks he's very good looking and she's super attracted to him. And so that turns in kind of a, there's a little bit of a love triangle in there. But um, this book is a very dark book. It um, really tells you the gritty side of life in New York City as a young person. Tess gets into some trouble. She gets in over her head several times. And it's just her navigating and learning how to live in New York City. And she doesn't always make the best choices. She can be miserable a lot of times. She, you know, falls in with the wrong people and does some things she shouldn't. But this book I found to be so fascinating. While I was reading it, it didn't feel like I was reading a novel. It almost felt like a memoir but it is a novel, but I really just enjoyed this book. I found it so fascinating. It was a world I didn't know anything about, and the writing that Stephanie does is just really beautiful. So I really enjoyed this book. Like I said, it's not always a cheerful book to read. It's very, it can be very harsh in the realities of life in New York City, but at the end of it, I just really enjoyed this book, and um, it's called Sweet Bitter. I believe there's also a television show based on this now, but I haven't watched it yet, but I'll have to check that out soon. Um, but I think, you know, this cover, you know, I like talking about the covers. It really says a lot about the book. It's a broken wine glass and see it's jagged and with just a little bit of wine in it. And I think this is a perfect cover that encapsulates the book. So um, let me know if you've read it or if you haven't read it. We have it here at the Carnegie to check out. So um, we'll see you soon and thanks for joining us today. If you're interested in reading any of these books we've been reviewing, we have a special shelf at the Carnegie that has all of the books we've been um, giving you reviews about over the last couple months. So just come on in. You don't even have to um, give us your card to check any of these out. You can just grab them, let us know how many you're taking, and go. So come in and see us soon so you can read all these books we've been talking about.